What's up guys? Today I'm going to be doing a video on my fall slash early winter loadout. This is obviously intended for cooler climates. Um, I intend to use it for temperatures in between 32 and 40. You might be thinking I just threw on a jacket on top of my normal loadout, um, but that's not exactly the case. I actually changed a lot of pouches on my vest as well as on my belt, and um, you know my philosophy as an airsoft player has kind of changed. Uh, so obviously I have to adapt my gear to that. Alright, so getting into the helmet, uh, this hasn't really changed at all since the last time I posted a video on it, but uh, if you're a new viewer, I'll just go ahead and show you it right now. I have the Peltor Compact 3's ACH, ACH kit. I have the GoPro Hero 3 Black Edition Plus, and as you can see, there's a USB cord right here, um, which just runs to a portable battery in the counterweight pouch to charge my GoPro. The helmet cover is made by OpsCore. Uh, the counterweight pouch is made by DTAC, and uh, that should be about it for the helmet. Alright, so moving on to the plate carrier, I am running the Cry Precision CPC. Uh, I decided to just take it off for the video because I have so much stuff on it, it would be really hard to show it if um, I was just turning around in front of the camera and trying to point out pouches. Uh, so anyway, this is the CPC. Uh, I've made a separate video about it, but um, it's changed a lot since then. I carry three Elite Force mid caps with the mag poles obviously uh, this is a pair of designs us jumbo american flag uh, infrared obviously and then i have three infrared chem lights a cat tourniquet and a couple of cry 330d pistol mag pouches uh, inside of them i have a speed loader and then the other one i just have a glock mag as you can see as for the push to talk I'm using for my radio, um, this is a Nexus U94 modded to um, work with radios like Baofeng that use a Kenwood style connector. All right, moving to the left, I keep a Cry 330D uh, double M4 mag pouch. This just holds a couple of mid caps, as you can see in here. Uh, moving along, we have a couple of Eagle Industries uh, flashbang pouches which just hold EG-18s, or not EG-18s, uh, WP-40s. Next we have a Tier Tactical smoke grenade pouch. This just holds, um, it usually holds bigger smoke grenades, but this is all I have uh, at the moment. Next we have a TAG, or Tactical Assault Gear Embitter pouch, which just holds my Baofeng uh, UV-5R. As you can see in here. Uh, I'm using a Nagoya uh, however you say it, I think that's the brand anyway, um, antenna, and I plan to switch out the radio for a, um, what's it called, TRI PRC-152. Moving to the other side, we have a Cry 330D GP, or small GP. Inside of here, I keep various items, such as a speed loader, a 11.1, a 9 volt. This is for my box mag for the M249 or Mark 46. Uh, a dead rag, another battery, as well as a bunch of double A's and triple A's, and electrical tape. I know it seems like a lot, but I actually do use all these items. Uh, the batteries here are for my Comtax and um, my other box mag I have. And the electrical tape is for holding the feeding part of the box mag into the gun. Uh, just because it likes to come undone. All right, moving along, we have a Eagle V2 smoke grenade pouch. This just holds a sports smoke, sometimes an EG-18. All right, moving along, we have a Tier SOF micro cutaway IFAC. Uh, as you can see, I keep some medical supplies in there, as well as an Israeli bandage. Um, this isn't for medical use, this is actually for uh, Milsim games that use uh, bandages for medicking. All right, moving to the back, we have a Hunt uh, Cry 330D replica hydration uh, hydration pouch, and then to the left of that, we have two tier tactical flashbang pouches, again for more smoke, and an assaulter's flashbang for another smoke grenade. I hope to change out this pouch here for one of these, just so um, it looks you know all all the pouches are the same. Moving on to the belt setup, I am running the Cry Low Pro belt, or the Low Profile, uh, as you saw in the previous video. Alright, so for the pistol and the holster, uh, it's a Cry gun clip and a TM Glock 17. 
Uh, this has, you know, tons of upgrades in it. Pretty much changed out every single part, as you can see. And I almost forgot to mention the light on the bottom is a Streamlight TLR1 HL. Alright, so on the back of the belt, I have an Eagle Industries V2 RLCS Horizontal Utility. Uh, inside the pouch, I keep another dead rag just for teammates and wiping goggles and stuff. And a um, Israeli bandage, again, for Milsim games. Moving to the left side of the belt, I have a bunch of 3 inch or 2 inch uh, infrared chem lights. They're mainly just for show, um, but they can be used with nods um, if I do play at night. And uh, I also have an Uzi flex cuff here. Um, this actually was used at the Operation Pathfinder, which was a couple weeks ago. Um, but I don't use it anymore, it was pretty much only for that one event. And lastly, I have a tier tactical uh, double Glock magazine pouch. Alright, so moving along to the uniform top. I'm running the Arc'teryx Alpha Gen 1, and under it, I am running the uh, Kai G3 uh, combat top. Alright, so as for pants, I'm running the Kai AC pants uh, with their flex knee pads, and I also have the Merrill uh, Moab mids. I plan to uh, change the boots out for the Loas or the Solomons. Alright, so for this loadout, I like to run three different primaries. Uh, the first one is the VFC Mark 18, um, EOTech XPS 32 replica on top, um, FMA PEC 15, KCNT4 suppressor and flash hider, VFC M3X, as you can see here, and uh, GNP Tango Down vertical grip. I've also done a lot of internal upgrades to this gun, so all of that will be in the description of the video. The next gun I run is the ANK. Mark 46. As you can see, I gave it my own paint job and um, I added a uh, EOTech 553 replica and I also removed the bipod because um, it's just not really reliable and I just don't need it. Uh, I added a KAC style foregrip, the broom handle as they call it, um, and I added a mag, uh, 1500 round box mag just because the previous one I had broke. The internals are 100% stock, I uh, don't really plan to upgrade it just because uh, the gun's already pretty reliable so I don't really need to upgrade anything. Alright guys, so that's about it. Uh, I showed you pretty much all the changes I made to my previous loadout. Uh, I apologize for the background noise of this video, there's just a lot of construction uh, and birds and whatnot going on in the background, so I apologize for that. If you have any questions about the gear, I'm happy to answer them, just drop a comment down below. Uh, and if you don't already, follow me on Instagram. Uh, my Instagram name is the same as this YouTube channel, uh, so go ahead and subscribe to this channel and follow me on Instagram. Uh, and as always, thanks for watching.